Mr. Fletcher, what if you have um, a gay couple who runs a web design business in a college town? And you know, a big part of their business is developing websites for student organizations, the environmental organization, like different rec club leagues, whatever. And then you have a Christian organization or Catholic organization that um, basically stands for and advocates traditional views of marriage. This is the raison d'etre for the club. They host debates, invite speakers, um, and they want the standard website that this couple provides in their business, which is, you know, uh, graphics that make it look appealing, kind of an about us page that describes what they do and what their beliefs are. And let's say that this couple, like 303 Creative, has on the bottom of every page, like, you know, design, designed by, you know, Jack and Michael. Everything this club wants to say is an anathema to this couple. Do they have to, can you compel that speech? Do they have to publish it? I don't think they do. Jack. Why? Because I don't think that's a refusal based on status. Okay, this is my question. That's why I asked it. Because I think here there's a, a difference of opinion about whether turning down the same-sex couple simply for purposes of the marriage announcement is a turn down based on status or message. And it seems to me in my hypothetical that the status of the club is inextricably intertwined with the message they want to speak. So why is it different? For a couple of reasons. I think, first of all, just to, to start with same, the same-sex marriage context, this court has recognized that that's a circumstance where status and conduct are inextricably intertwined. In Lawrence and Masterpiece, the court has said refusing to serve for same-sex marriages is discrimination against same, uh, uh, gays and lesbians because status and conduct is inextricably intertwined. The public accommodations laws and the anti-discrimination laws generally don't work that way in general. We don't think that the expression of particular views is inextricably intertwined with having a particular religion or being a Democrat or a Republican. In general, in public accommodations laws, we say when you discriminate against someone because you, they want you to print a website or serve an event or cater an event for something that you disagree with, we wouldn't say that that's a status-based refusal. Uh, and I think that's correct. I, I don't so think... So this is a carve-out that's applicable just to the same-sex context? I think it's a context. It's like the court's recognition in Bray that attacks on yarmulkes is attacks on Jews. There are certain rare contexts where status and conduct are inextricably intertwined, and I think the court has rightly recognized that same-sex marriage is one of them. Thank you.